Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, we're checking out personality characteristics of an extremist by Jordan Peterson. Guys, let's get straight into this. If trade openness is a common feature on the left, why is it that they become so intractable and totalitarian in practice? What happened to openness? You know, the answer to that is, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I was just starting to engage in that research when my research enterprise essentially came to a shuddering halt because my university career became untenable. My suspicions are that openness is a good predictor of moderate leftist attitudes and remains that way, but that at some point the leftist proclamations become so extreme that new predictors predict those attitudes. Now we have some evidence for that, like for, we know for example that the proclivity to abide by left-wing authoritarian attitudes, which would be the willingness to impose leftist views by force, let's say, that that's associated with low verbal intelligence, a feminine temperament, being female and having been exposed to politically correct processes of indoctrination. Um, we also know from research that wasn't done in my lab that dark, the dark tetrad personality traits, Machiavellianism, which is manipulativeness, psychopathy, um, uh, Machiavellianism, psychopathy, narcissism, that's the desire for unearned detention, and sadism are also features that are much more common among those who purport to hold left-wing authoritarian ideas. So I would say that the left is not a homogenous political category and that as the leftist attitudes become more extreme they rigidify and it, within that rigid population the personality predictors of leftist liberalism flip and switch and so but I haven't seen a systematic evaluation of that yet now it's a great research question you know um, if it, what you would do is you'd segregate you'd have to develop a scale that indicated intensity of conviction in relationship to leftist principles and you could do that psychometrically you'd have to develop a corpus of leftist beliefs and then you'd have to rank order them for severity, right? And that would be something like an estimate of their, of the proclivity of the holder of that viewpoint to believe that it's acceptable to impose them by force. Then you'd have to subdivide the leftists into categories of severity and look differentially at personality predictors across the span of intensity of belief but nobody's done anything that sophisticated yet. So it's an open question. And if you're, I don't know why you're asking this question, you know, it look, looks like you've got some knowledge. It's an excellent research. And for any research question, anybody who's listening, who's doing graduate work in, in psychological research, especially in social psychology or personality psychology, that's a real wide open um, area of investigation and a real important one, so. Guys, I feel people who study psychology are, uh, I wouldn't say they are ranging mad, but it, it's actually a difficult class. Like, it's a difficult class. I have a set of people who study psychology, pharmacy, doctor, lawyer. I feel you guys are not going to spend your whole, your whole life in school, but it's a strange. Like, I really feel like I, I, I can do more than four years in school, but it's... Nah, four is my max. I wish I saw it to you because I would have taken it. Because, like, <laughs> school isn't for anyone. It's not for everyone. And I believe that school is an amazing place to be. You, you, you have different knowledge. And when it comes to your project work, as far as my stress in life, but it's good. I guess the second question is something I honestly don't know anything about. Like, more like I'm watching the video, but I don't understand what he is saying. Nah, I am not that educated. Guys, you should like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.